welcome to me the my youtube channel talking about things to motivate engage and educate us on topics or issues things that impact on, on our lives as uh, people from black and asian and caribbean wherever you are whatever you want to class yourself as but these are things that are real and untrue and then today i want to talk about a topic that ooh, it's quite it's quite massive quite big it's quite political but i'm not talking it from those angles i'm just going to make it simple because i know it's things that impact on us uh, families a lot and it's talking about um immigration issues many of us are we call, we are in the diaspora we come from africa we come from the caribbean we come from asia we come from different parts of the world and we come to we come to the united kingdom we go we're in london we're in manchester birmingham and um it's been a journey for so many and it's still a journey that is ongoing but i want to highlight a few things that have come up over the years when i've been working and i just want to use these things to talk to us and encourage parents on, on what to the things that even if you're not there you're not in that situation you might know somebody else that's in it and help that person out and maybe encourage and motivate and educate that person many people come to, um uh, especially they come in they come in with a, a visa for six months one year two years uh, or some don't even have anything at all some parents have been trafficked into the country and made to work as you know slaves modern day slavery some people have come in and um they are made to you they're made as prostitutes they're different things I don't want to go into the details of that, but they, these are real situations. But some are just there. They just say, I want to have a better life, but they don't know how to go about it. And they just get into the country. One of the things, then when they're now ready, they're here and they know that their visas are about to expire or they need to do something about their papers. They're not facing the issue. Some have come from bad situations and then they're just living. They're just living. And the first thing people say is that, let me just get a job. You know, it might not be legal enough, but I'm just going to work. I just need to pay. And you know what? They do live good. They live good materially. They live good. They've got good. They've good they get good place, houses to live in. They good. Um, they earn good money, you know, but they don't, they're not they're not sorted in, uh, in terms of their immigration. I want to let people know that. The earlier you face the issue that you are not here legally and you need to do something about it, it's better. One of the reasons why people tend to shy away from this issue is fear. You're, you're scared that oh, if I go and apply now or if I go and do this now or uh, 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 I, it's not going to do me any good. So let me just keep quiet. Let me just not, I don't want to face this issue. That's the reason why so many years ago, people were walking on the streets and they were picked up by, you know, by, uh, by, by the immigration task force. It's not as common now, but it used to happen a lot. And what people were encouraged to do is that seek advice. The first thing is that seek advice immediately. You know that your 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 visa or anything is going to expire. Seek advice. Ask, 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 ask and ask again. When you ask a lot, when you when you find out, you find out from here, you ask, you got these ad, um, advices. They're, they're, they're free. They're not, nothing stops you from making a uh, uh, making a telephone call to an immigration service for a, a chat. There are charities out there. Ask for the advice, lay it open, and be honest about it. Then nothing's going to happen to you, even through your asking advice. Face the issue and ask advice, and then you can make an informed decision about the next step to take. If you don't ask, when I say ask, I, I shared something in my previous uh, uh, session. I said, many people talk to the wrong people. The same thing with immigration or with with your with your status don't talk to the wrong people your situation is different from that person that person will tell you what i did and what happened to me and therefore you can do it no sir no ma you might need to just talk to uh, get advice and tell 
<laughs> Another thing I want to say, be sincere and be honest in your seeking advice. Because many of us, we, we, we do a lot of, we say a lot of half-truths. We say something that will benefit us here and then say something that will benefit us some, somewhere else. When you don't say it as it is, they're going to give you a help or advice that is not in conjunction to your situation and it's going to fail. But when you are sincere and you're honest, they'll tell you, look, they'll tell you, they'll let you, they'll spell it out to you and say, you know what? You're nothing. Look, there's a tendency that you will be deported if you don't do it this way or if you don't do it. I think that's better for me to know than people lying to me. I prefer people to tell me the truth about my situation and then I can make an informed decision about it. So whether I need to seek more help and support in terms of my children, if I, if my, if it's, if, am I going down the, the seven year route of how old my child is? Am I going down the spousal route? Whatever route, seek advice. Not everybody that calls themselves, that's the next point I'm going to, not everybody who calls themselves a lawyer is qualified or, or able to help situations in immigration. So that's why you, when you go to some certain charities, they have different kinds of solicitors. They have immigration solicitors. They have, you know, with, with house, housing solicitors. There are different kinds of solicitors that you can engage. But when you need to get advice, once you, they let you know what is, then they can advise you. This is what you, this is the route you need to go down. Then you can go back, discuss with your family, your friends. What do I do about this? This is what I was told. But please don't, don't just listen to people that are from your background or from your culture or from your community. And please, sometimes somebody said, ah, I use this lawyer. This lawyer helps me. Uh, go to that. Doesn't mean that that lawyer will help you as well. Yes. Yeah, so um, not every lawyer is qualified to help your case or your matter. And another thing I want to say about solicitors or lawyers is that sometimes because they know that they know they're getting their money and um, they will do a formal job, they will do it just because they're getting the money. And it's not always helpful. I've had situations whereby I've even recently um, uh, some of the parents or families I've worked with they've paid, they will work like, they will work off their backs to raise 10,000 pounds for a lawyer this, and nothing will be done. Either the, the, the paperwork is done shabbily, either the paperwork is not done with all the facts that are needed, either the lawyer is not talking to the, the, to, to, to the client in a way that gets all the facts that can support because in a way, I believe uh, from the work I've done is that everybody needs to be supported and not, you know, we, sometimes we prejudge one another and then you, you treat people as you see them. But because you need to get them money, you just say, okay, I'll, I'll do it for you. Just do this. Give me this. Uh, send me letter. They go through the, all the processes, but they're not putting in every effort that needs to make that case a success. And that's why I want to encourage people to go to the right services. There are charities out there. They will listen to your case and they will tell you the truth. The truth is very important. As long as you are truthful, they will tell you their truth and what you need to do. What the process is. The law is changing every day. Home office situations are changing every day. Policies are changing every day. These charities, these organizations, they need to be, they need to be on top of it. So they are. So they do it. They, they, they learn, they study. People like us, we support you to make sure that you go to those right places and that process has started. It might not be as quickly as you want it, but it's there. But they'll let you know. But the thing is, go to the right people. Don't just go to there. There are a lot of lawyers out there that are scamming people, that are conning people, that are taking people's money. And they will just look at you because they think, oh, I can do it. Um, it's, it's depressing. It's, it's painful. Um, one, of my, uh, one of my parents, um, they, she, she, we, we, I worked with her for, uh, since from the time... Her son was very young. She just had her baby then and we and she was referred through the social services to a lawyer. But the, I spoke to this lawyer and he was the way he just judged. I said, no, you're not you're not listening. 
I believe you need to listen to the client. When they, when he was putting in the thing, he the way the social serv the social worker told the story was different from what the the story actually was, because this parent actually was on suicidal watch. She you know so I knew I know her case very well, so I worked with her, and but the way they handled it, the it was like there was nothing that could be done. She were they 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 were going to turn her down anyway. So from there, she had to keep on moving from getting, and then a lawyer would say, no, don't go through the asylum route. This is not going to be helpful. Or no, don't do this. Because until this was about, I'm talking about almost 10 years, this case has been going on. And she now had to, before she now got an organization that took up her case with empathy, with sympathy, with a fighting spirit to make sure that she got her status sorted. And she was sharing this story with me and she was saying that, you know what, that it's like they just took my money. They were not listening to me. They didn't care about me. And these are the things I feel for pay people. But like I said before, you've got to be honest enough because sometimes they know that we're not telling the truth. So they just, they do things based on what you tell them. Another thing I want to end with on this matter, because there's so many things about immigration. So if you need to want to talk or you want to raise an issue, please feel free to do so. But another thing is that I want to encourage us is to read the paperwork. So many times they, they, we believe that they know. The same thing when, when I teach our children in school or we're in school, we're at work. We believe that they're authority figures so they cannot be wrong. Anybody can be wrong. My brother, my sister, my friend. Anybody can be wrong. So you have an obligation to yourself to read. If to read the paperwork, what are you writing on my behalf? What are you putting in for me? Can you explain it again? If you can't read, get somebody to read it and explain it to you. I've done this so many times. I said, so what's, what's the, what's, what, what did you put in for? Or what grounds did you put in your application? So because sometimes the, the, the grounds for putting in an application is very, it's, 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 not, it's negligible, it's not, it's not it at all. So I just want to end with this. It's, it's a very big issue. It's an emotional issue. It's a passionate issue for me because I work with a lot of families that have no recourse, that have immigration issues. And we need to make sure that we're supporting people appropriately. So please drop me a line if you want. Um, hopefully um, uh, uh, we, we, we can support as much as we can or we signpost as much as we can. I look forward to hearing from you and please uh, look forward to seeing this YouTube channel every week and subscribe. Thank you.